hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a very simple recipe to make very delicious cauliflower curry you can see the texture it's super delicious to eat with boiled rice and roti or chapati as well so let's see the recipe here i have taken 250 grams of cauliflower and cut them into pieces and after cutting i have washed them properly and now we have to wash them again with hot water you may skip this process but this kind of process will help us for a nice digestion and it will remove all the impurities of the cauliflower so here is our hot water and i'll add some salt in the water and after that we'll add the cauliflower into it i didn't turn the heat off so the heat is on now and now i'm adding the cauliflower into the water now we'll cover the vessel and wait for 2 to 3 minutes We don't need to boil it but wait for 2 to 3 minutes to remove all the impurities and all the insects from the cauliflower. Now after 3 minutes I'm removing the cauliflower from the water. I'll drain the water nicely and remove the cauliflower into a plate. Now let's keep it aside and go for the pan. Now I'm adding some cooking oil into a pan. and now we have to let the oil heat well the oil is hot well and now i am adding two bay leaves and half teaspoon of cumin seeds here and along with this i'll add a pinch of asafoetida i got the yellow asafoetida you may add the white one After the cumin seeds and bay leaves are fried well, now I am adding some finely chopped onion. We have to fry the onion until a nice transparent color. I am stirring it nicely, and now the color is nicely transparent. And I am adding one teaspoon full of crushed ginger garlic. You may use ginger garlic paste instead. There is no problem. Now we have to fry it until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone and after that we have to add some tomatoes Now the raw flavor is gone and I am adding two medium sized tomatoes finely chopped It's nice red tomatoes After adding tomatoes we have to add the masala I mean spices here So at first we'll add some salt to taste. I'm adding 1 teaspoon full of salt. You may change the quantity as you need. 1/2 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. And along with this I'll add some kanda lasun masala to enhance the taste. It's actually a Maharashtrian masala and if it's not available near you then skip it there's no problem. We have to add some more spices here but the spices mixture seems very dry so I'm adding some water here before adding the rest of the spices I'm adding a little water stirring it and after that I'm going to add the rest of the spices So now I'm adding red chili powder according to taste 1/4 teaspoon of black pepper powder and 1/4 teaspoon of garam masala we have to mix it properly and now i'm going to add a little more water here because i added very little water that time so i'm adding some more water before covering the pan now we have to cover the pan and cook for 5 to 6 minutes on medium heat until the oil is released from the spices and the water is dried well Now the water is dried and the oil is released from the spices as you can see. Now we have to add the cauliflower here. So I am adding the veggies to the spices and now we have to mix it properly. And without water we have to cover the pan again for 2 to 3 minutes on the lowest heat. So that the taste and the flavor of the spices can mix with the veggies. and after 2 to 3 minutes here is the texture i'm stirring it again very nicely and after that we have to add water for gravy 
add hot water if possible but actually I forgot to heat water previously so I am adding normal water here. Hot water will give the curry a brighter color and a better taste. So try to use hot water here. And add the water quantity according to your wish. It actually depends on how thick you want your gravy to be. So I also added water according to my requirements. And before covering the pan I am going to add some roasted peanut powder. Simply I roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after cooling down I have made a coarse powder in mixer and now I am adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of the powder for a better taste and a thicker gravy. I am mixing everything nicely and now we have to cover the pan and cook the curry. In between we have to uncover the pan and check the curry of course and we have to stir it occasionally the curry is boiling very nicely and now I am going to cover the pan again and we have to wait for some time until the veggies are cooked very well and now the veggies are cooked 100% I am showing you here you can see that the veggies are cooked very nicely 100% and the gravy is very nicely thick so our curry is ready to serve now. Before turning the heat off, I will check the salt of course. And mine is ok. You may add some fresh coriander leaves if available but I don't have them so I am skipping them. So now I am turning the heat off and serving the curry. You can see the texture friends, it is looking very delicious, very tempting and it is super delicious to eat as well. It's very very delicious to eat with boiled rice and roti or chapati. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.